Yo guys, what is good? Welcome back on the Uncle Sharma channel. Here we are today, 2022-23, the new Nike official Inter home kit has been released and we are here to react to it. And first thoughts, I like it, man. I like it. I liked all the leaks that I saw before. Uh, I wasn't quite sure about the collar, but now that it's come out, it looks completely fine. No more zigzags, no more snake patterns. Back to traditional, back to the stripes, back to black and blue. It's not near azzurro, it's not azzurro, it's not like a lighter blue, it's definitely a darker blue, but I like it. Here it is officially on the website already. If you go on inter.it, you're already able to get your hands on it and they will be debuting later today. Inter versus Lugano or Lugano versus Inter, Inter's first friendly of the season. Um, you can see Matty Dom's looking great in the kit and you can already go and buy it with the Serie A pack shirt uh, patches and it's got the Coppa Italia patch there already by the looks of it included in the price, 89.99 euros. Um, yeah, that's the only thing, honestly, the, the Coppa Italia patch placement. That is really what I don't like about this. It's so off-center, like in my opinion, it should have been put here in the center of the of the kit would have looked much nicer or you know try to actually um align it with the nike tick because it just looks completely misaligned it looks a little bit off um it just doesn't look right to be honest but everything else you know the badge looks nice of course the new logo just looks nice modern crisp and we've got the the one star that obviously we wanted it to be the second star there to be for this season but not quite but everything looks nice. Digital Bits, the new sponsor now for this season, I think looks nicer than Socios. Uh, aesthetically, I think it just looks a little bit cleaner. No, none of that, you know, into fan token taking up a lot of space. Um, so I think that overall gives it a nice look. Um, and as I said, I was initially worried about the the collar here. In, in some of the leaks, it looked like the color was actually a lot higher, or like it looks like it almost looked like it was going to be a turtleneck. But no, it's just a normal color. But it's just got the the black that goes as a, as a as a horizontal stripe. And now the back, obviously, we still got Lenovo as the back sponsors. So yeah, overall, very nice looking kit. And then earlier on today, Inter also released the official video. Uh, you know the, all the marketing material to go along with the kit and yeah that was also a very good video all around you know the DNA being part of the fabric as you can see there uh, you know everything is about going on to breaking the next barrier reaching the next impossible goal using kind of iconic imagery you'll see R9 uh, picture there in a minute there it is uh, and we'll look at actually which kits it reminds me of from the past uh, you know it's all about you know taking it to the next level breaking down barriers you know very closely aligned with milan we'll see the second kit is very closely aligned with milan but we won't talk about that today um i like the pattern as well you can see the 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 fabric pattern in between it looks like can't really quite tell it could be like a little bit still still a bit of snake skin still part of it i can't quite tell but um yeah pushing forward that's kind of the the main tagline for it from uh, intermediate house really really like it and then now let me just show you which kits i feel like it reminds me of because it does is as i said this is going back to the traditional roots of inter first one that it reminded me of actually was the uh 2001 2002 kit the one here uh you know kind of just the the fact that the stripes are boxed in or they've got like a like an extra, they've got this area where they can, uh, they, they've been put inside. And then the blue as well kind of reminds me of this season. But probably the closest one, and I've seen people already comparing it to, is this one from the 2003 2004 season. Um, and also this one of Adriano was wearing, uh, I believe, the season after. So definitely, you know, thicker stripes going back to a more traditional intricate. So um, you know, hope people are not complaining anymore that Inter are being too edgy or too uh, trying to do too many things to appeal to the to the younger kids. Um, I I really like it. I really like it. 
And I mean, the thing that always changes, I've seen people already split about it. it it's never going to be, I've never seen a kit that comes out and everyone is happy. But this one is definitely seems like majority. I put a poll out on my Instagram and, you know, 80, 90% of people said they would buy this kit. And I mean, when you see the players wearing it, this is when things change. Even if you don't rate a kit, as soon as you see our boys wearing in here, Lukaku, Gosens, D'Ambrosio, especially like these guys are looking good in it. Uh, look at Big Rom looking real, real good. Matty Dom's looking real good. And yeah, guys, as soon as you see Lautaro bagging some goals wearing this kit, as soon as you see Big Rom bagging some goals wearing this kit, if you're not a fan, you're going to become a fan. It looks like it's going to be black shorts and black socks. So it looks definitely, you know, heavy black and blue vibe. Um, looking forward to seeing it later on today against Lugano first preseason friendly, which is streamed on Sport Italia, by the way. So you should be able to stream it not on Inter's YouTube channel, but if you go on Sport Italia, I believe it's not a region lock, so you should be able to watch that preseason friendly. And uh, yeah, let's see the boys out in action later on. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. For me, this is an eight out of ten kit or 7.8, 7.9. I think that's. Coppa Italia patch placement just kind of takes it down a notch for me. You guys let me know your rating out of 10 in the comments down below. See you for the next kit review, second kit, away kit. Ciao ragazzi, forza Inter always.